Hey guys, Basil Mole from Grayson Hobby, and today we finally have an answer for those wanting to use a Radio Master and a Spectrum based receiver with a gyro. Yeah, so in general, a lot of guys are asking, hey, I got the Radio Master, I want to use a six axis gyro or stabilizer um, flight controller for my planes. What do you have? And as of recent, not Nothing. much unless you spend 100 bucks right. uh, or $70. So what we have here is the Lemon RX uh, Stabilizer Plus module. Listen. It's it's a DSMX receiver as well as a uh, gyro. It has um, self-leveling, regular gyro and off. It's got multiple modes. One thing we found with the setup for the Lemon RX, they missed one thing. They go over how to set up with a new Spectrum radio. They go how to set up with an old Spectrum radio. But guys, we're not using Spectrum here. We're using Radio Masters and Jumpers. Open, so, open TX. Open TX yeah. with a multi-module. Um, there's nothing in the Quick Start Guide or the Essential Guide that is found on the manufacturer's website for that. So a lot of people have been asking me, hey, how do I set it up? We just got them in, already getting blown up on that. So we're gonna go over that uh, in this video here. We're not gonna go over how to set up the gyro because the manual does a really good job of that. Or how to install it. How to install plane. it, that's, how to set it up. That's already been this done This is for you. the missing part of the manual on how to configure a OpenTX with the multi-module for the Stabilizer Plus. Like always, if this video you find it useful and helpful, hit that subscribe button and be sure to support Grayson Hobby if it's pack of props, batteries, quads, everything. Uh, everything ships from right here, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, located right outside Atlanta, Georgia. It's usually about two days to the entire east coast of the country. Okay, so I understand I have a Radio Master and I have a new gyro, but what is this What is this new Lemon RX? All right, so just so you guys know, this is a um, gyro built into a seven channel, actually eight, but it's seven physical channels um, receiver. This is a DSM2, DSMX diversity receiver from Lemon RX. Um, we have this on a plane here. This plane has very large control surfaces, very easy to see for the video of, on how they work. So that's why we use this as a test bed here. Um, I mounted on the top of the wing. The, the receiver can be mounted in various uh, configuration orientations, but I mounted on top of the wing for the purposes of the video so you guys can see it easy. Uh, questions on the stabilizer itself, check out Grayson Hobby's website um, in the link below and the product page. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new model and I'm gonna just do it as a plane. Heel. And my plane does have a motor. It's on channel three. We're gonna leave it as that. Go to the next page. Are you, oh, you're okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, number of ailerons, we're gonna go to one on this one. And um, we're gonna leave it as channel one. So the next one, it does not have flaps, but we are actually gonna select yes. And that's just to give us the channel switch. Um, I'm gonna put that on channel six for my flaps um, on this particular setup. And then I'm gonna go over Tail configuration, one channel for elevator, one for rudder, yes. Um, we're gonna do, and for some reason mine is not displaying, I put a custom graphic on mine and I screwed that up, so keep that in mind guys. It, normally it will tell you the A and B. Um, but the first, we're gonna do your elevator as um, channel two, and then channel four will be your rudder, which will be up here. Um, normally you'll have the text here, mine, I screwed up that file. Um, on here, and then, You'll see here, um, motor channel, channel three, aileron channel, channel one, flaps, channel six, elevator, channel two, rudder channel, channel four. We're gonna go ahead and select yes, all as well, create the plane. And we're gonna return here. And now that we're in my model here, we're gonna go to the model selection and we're gonna scroll on the first page, we're gonna scroll down. Uh, we are gonna turn the internal module on, multi. We're gonna go to DSM, if I can find it here, come on. Oh, I think I have to go the other way, sorry guys. And there's so many different protocols. Okay, so we're in DSM, and I'm gonna select DSM X, and I'm gonna do 22 millisecond because I'm running regular servos here. Um, you can probably get away with 11 milliseconds too. Um, if you auto detect, it'll go 11 milliseconds. Uh, but here's the thing guys in order to get the full eight channels to get that master dial switch Which is what the benefit of the stabilizer plus is um, We do need to manually select it as an eight channel not use the auto function So we need to set up 22 milliseconds one through eight um, You can enable max throw if you want I'm gonna leave that alone, but uncheck auto detect format, okay? 
That's important right there, right? Um, yeah, if you leave auto detect format on it, it's gonna come up as a seven channel receiver and you will not be able to program the eighth channel for the dial switch. Okay. So now that we got that there, um, we're gonna go return, get that set up, and then we're gonna page over to mixes. And then on channel five, um, I'm gonna add a switch. So channel six is, I'm, I'm gonna go through and set up Channel five is my flight mode switch, so I'm gonna change the source, and I'm gonna put it on B, just cause Which one? the B. That's what okay. I use my drone for my mode switch, so I'm okay. gonna leave it there. I like the long lever there. Um, all right, so we'll go there, go back, and then, so that's my channel five. Channel six is gonna be like my gear switch or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna use, Mm, we'll just do the back corner because that's where I normally do a retract here. So we're going to go in here. We're going to edit that one. I'm going to use F for that. All right. And then seven, we're going to just sign that another three position switch. Um, we'll just use A for now. Okay. Actually for this video, I probably should have done a different order just to make it a little easier for you guys. But you know, let's make it a little more complicated, right? All right. So here's the other thing. Channel eight, we need to assign channel eight on the master dial for gain switch. Um, you can either use one of your sliders here, but I'll be honest with you, I always end up hitting those for no reason. Um, and I'm gonna put the up here on S1 knob. So I'm gonna assign channel eight, my source, and I'm just gonna turn this dial and it selected it. So that's that. So that's gonna control the- This um, is gonna be your master gain switch. So in order to use a remote gain adjustment, that's gonna be on this so dial the sensitivity here. on the fly. Basically, right? Yeah, you can fine tune it. it. It's a good for getting up in the air, adjusting it, and then going, okay, I got a baseline. Now I know roughly where to go. And then you can fine tune from yeah. there if you want. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then let's get the sucker bound. Okay, so from there, let's go back to my model. All right, so we got that here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assign that to a different position there all right so now what we need is our bind plug um it does come with double sight tape and a bind plug i have this one laying around here so we're going to use this one we're going to put the bind plug in and these are just my servos laid out now even though my channel mapping on the radio um, was eleron elevator throttle rudder i'm still going to use the the way it's set up, throttle in the second pin here, aileron in the third pin, the I, fourth I, pin, I, I elevator. So throttle goes to throttle? Yes. Aileron it is, aileron. yes. Okay, I can't see that, it's kind of hard for me. And then rudder to rudder. So you okay. are going to put the servo that corresponds with the label. Okay. So just basically plug in your servos to where it says to go? Yes. Oh, that's... Now keep in mind guys, when you're setting these up, always remove your prop. Do not, do not try to set up a stabilizer or any plane with a prop on in the beginning. That is how accidents happen. There are people I know that have lost fingers from that. So do not do that. Or Please stars. remove your props before any setup, any binding, any powering while you're working on them. All right, that's a good PSA here. All right, here. so we got the bind plug in. Give it power. Receiver's in bind mode. With our little bind buddy. Oh, and, oh, okay. All right. So what we do need to do, I don't like trying to bind the receiver so close. I generally keep about a uh, five foot distance or so. Um, from the plane, mm -hmm. the receiver to the radio. Um, otherwise, you're more likely to get a failed bind with these, Yeah. Uh, with any spectrum, it seems like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and start the bind there. Okay. And I got it over here. There's Daniel in the background. So you're there. So it's gonna take a second. I heard it beep over here. It's binding. It's flashing. That's just the gyro stabilizing, okay. I believe. There it and is. you heard the movement. So it took a bit. It so, was longer than most. Yeah. Longer so than now, most. unplug the bind plug. Okay. Bring it back over here. All right. And I'm gonna power cycle just because I always do on. So this is easy power cycle. Just use a little yeah. bind bind button. Now when you first turn this on, the gyro is stabilizing, etc. Okay. Now what? So now I'm gonna go back and show you guys. Okay. All right, so my channel five is switch B, okay. and you can see. Wait, you're switching channel five. Okay. Channel five is switch B. Yep. You can see here, these are my different modes. So this is 
um, depending on how you, you can, and you can adjust the order in which these modes work. Again, that is in the manual for this. They actually did a very good job. Uh, some community uh, made manuals for this for, for the lemon receivers. Uh, there's a quick start guide that's about four pages long. They'll get most of the people going, but if you want the full in-depth uh, how to adjust the modes, orientation, stuff like that, and more advanced settings, there's a 19-page ma manual. Most of it, you'll, you probably won't even use, but half of that, um, they'll correspond to you. But um, it's a great uh, written up manual that makes sense. So definitely check that out. But as far as this goes, I got the three modes here just to show you. So this is my um, stabilizer mode. This is just the gyro, and then this is nothing. Um, so the about, colors. So nothing means it's manual, like the manual, old, traditional. Right. Yeah, gyro off. And then put on the highest level. All right. So what I'm going to do here, just to show you guys, this is my gain switch. Okay, so we're going to yeah. put it in stabilized mode. Okay. So you'll see They're very little, moving. very little Fairly movement. Moving, yep. As I turn this dial up, uh, it's more okay. sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now everything's kind of so that gain switch controls all all the services, right? Correct. All right. So basically that gives you the master gain dial mm -hmm. on channel eight, which is not a servo channel. There's no servo plug for it, but it's a digital channel. Okay. Um, and then now you have channel five is reserved for your flight mode. Um, and then channel six can be used for like gears and flaps, something like that. Okay. So six and seven can be used for gears and flaps. Seven can also be used, I believe, as a second aileron. Um, again, that's in the, the manual for that. Uh, one thing you guys will need to make sure is when you set this up, that you set the dip switches for how the first thing you do yeah. is set up. Make sure direction is right. So left is left, right is right, up is up, down is down, and then you got that's wrong. <laughs> so as you can see, left rudder is right, so that's backwards. Up is up. Down so I'm is glad down. you brought that up. So where would I fix that in the radio or the gyro? So the dip switches. You'll fix. Servo travel direction in the radio. You'll fix the gyro correction on the dip switches. Okay, so for this particular, I'm glad this messed up. So let's let's reverse the channel right there. Show yeah. Me. So we got my rudder. The rudder is backwards. So yep. in order to do that, hop back on the. We need to go into the model again, and then we're gonna go over to outputs, and my channel. Let's actually go back one just to show you guys. My rudder was channel four, so you can see that there. So you'll use this corresponding channel to change it. Um, so we're gonna go to four, select it, then scroll over, and then you'll see it says direction there. And push that one time, you'll see the arrow changed, and then I can back out. And now left is left, right is right on okay. rudder. And that should be good. Now you, now you test the, um, what do you call it? Now I kind of cheated on this one. I already adjusted the gain direction. Um, what the best way to do, I already flipped the switches for that because they were traveling the wrong directions for correction. But what I like to do is max out the gain. So I have a lot of movement on my yeah. surfaces. Yeah. Okay. So if you just turn it, shouldn't you just hold the attitude? Yeah. See, that's how I do it. Yeah. So, but you can see the movement there. So basically with the plane centered, talk, uh, level the plane out, toggle the switch several times and that will zero out the gyro. Which switch did you use? The flight mode switch. Okay. Toggle it several times. And that res kind of resets the gyro? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I'm not holding the most stable here. All right. How, how, so do, we that... know, how do we know it's it's been reset? It takes a second. Okay. Okay. So it's it's set. Um, basically, like Basil was saying here, so if I'm giving uncommanded input, the gyro is correcting uncommanded input. So if the plane's sitting here level flying and the wind gusts it to the right, you want to make sure this aileron is trying to force it back down. Yeah, so the opposite of how you would turn it. Yeah, so basically, keep in mind, that's left aileron. So if it's going right uncommanded, it's commanding left aileron to go down. Right, but that's a whole other video. Though. So that's that's that channel. Yeah. Then check there. So the nose just dipped down. It's giving up elevator to compensate. And then, so I think the rudder might, let's see. This is the... So if I'm coming this way, I want to go if it's, that if way. If the nose left, it's giving right rudder. Yeah, yep. so that's all right. Okay. Okay, so that's everything there. We checked that. Um, they okay. do recommend starting out with like a 70 and 100% rates in the radio. You can program that. That's a whole other video there. Um, also like 20% expo just to kind of tame down a new plane, which is a good idea for anything. Um, but you are able to do that in the radio itself. You're not adjusting that in the gyro. So 
unlike some of the other gyros on the market and stuff like that, they kind of kept it a little more simple. Uh, there's a lot of features on this as well, but they made it to where it's easy to use for the most part. Um, as long as you have the patience to read the manual, look at some pictures, follow the chart, uh, not a whole lot. Um, and it's pretty, pretty straightforward, guys. All right. Guys, now if you have a Radio Master and you fly airplanes, there's no excuse why you're not using a gyro because you, now you know how to do it.